it's lost. It doesn't come back ma- magically from the tax man or something like that. It's you, You're failing as a business in that case. You don't just uh, get a check? No, and <laughs> that's why businesses go out of business. Free Talk Live. Sarah, you're on Free Talk Live. Yes, uh, I, I just, um, I was told that like, uh, if you own a business, you own a business and a uh, even if you have a business loss, you could write it off, uh, most of the businesses. So what does that mean, that you never actually lose money because you get to write it off? <laughs> uh, how does that work? Well, let me tell you. Uh, it means that you don't have to pay taxes on the money you lost. They don't have well, it. You lost it. You still lose. That's what money. lost means. You're always. You gonna... seem a little lost on the meaning of lost. <laughs> <laughs> if you write things off, there's different ways to write things off in a business. But one of the things that a lot of businesses do is they reinvest. So everybody loves to talk about Amazon, and they paid zero taxes with eighteen billion dollars in profits. They were too busy making jobs. Is that hmm. what they were doing? Well, a lot of what Amazon has done and the key to their success over their lifetime has been to invest in new technology and invest in distribution systems and, and things like that. So it's not that they just had that money and they pocketed it. They took their profits and they reinvest it back into the business so they can become even more evil to you. Hmm. Does that help, well, uh, sir? I wanted to know how that would work with uh, apartment par- uh, complex owners because I want to know that whether they rent. To, what, what I'm saying is, I have a really loud music neighbor, mm-hmm. and then um, and then they 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 stay here playing music all day, all night, and they run everybody out. But that's the thing: whether he rents to three people or three hundred apartments, that's a tax write-off. He could care less, right? <laughs> it's so funny listening to you. Is that how it works? You really have no idea what uh, business is about. Uh, I mean, wow. She's never even had a job in her life, so I mean, it's understandable she wouldn't even be connected in wow. any way, shape, or form to... Yeah. Uh, you know, wow. the difficulties of running a business. But in any case, <laughs> thanks for the uh, thank, call. Thank you for the call, Sarah. Um, wow. I mean, can, can you even explain what she is there an answer to what it is she's even talking about? That, no, no. Okay. This, and sometimes, this, and I like, I enjoy burns. speaking with. It burns. I enjoy. <laughs> I, enjoy <laughs> I enjoy talking to Sarah, but some Sarah calls are too Sarah for me. Uh, and I'm, uh, uh, I'm well, I guess K Sarah, Sarah, but good <laughs> Lord. Well, is it stupidity or just ignorance? I mean, it could well, be. I buy God. God, though, good lord! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I want to try my moly. hand at, at answering this as somebody who really doesn't know much about de- you know de- deductions and taxes and all that. A um, reality, right? Whether you're paying yeah. taxes or not, Sarah, if you lose money, it's lost. It doesn't come back ma- magically from the tax man or something like that. It's you, you're failing as a business in that case. You don't just uh, get a check. No, and <laughs> that's why businesses go out of business. That's why when you look around. You know, wherever it is that you live there in Albuquerque and you don't see the same businesses that you grew up with there, that's because those companies folded at some point. They couldn't make it work. They yep. couldn't change with the times. Uh, they weren't able to keep things relevant. You know, Wool- Woolworth's, of course, great example, right? It's a company right. that was on top for a long time. It was working for decades for them. And then they went under. Interestingly, they're still in business in Mexico. Are they really? Yeah. Unbelievable. And those buildings get sold off and they get replaced by things that the consumer does want. That's right. That w- does want. That's the Hopefully. process that uh, Joseph Schrumpeter called creative destruction. Creative destruction. Free Talk Live. Listen live 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern or grab the podcast. It's all at freetalklive.com. <laughs> <laughs> 